Hello, my name is Sunny Lee, Product Manager with Zebra Technologies. Today we are going to demonstrate the Zebra Online Supply Selector Tool. Before we jump into a demonstration of the tool itself, I'd like to discuss some of the media options, capabilities, and why you would use these different types of media. There are several types of media that can be utilized on Zebra printers. There are labels, which are basically stickers that can be applied to assets or boxes. Tag media, which are typically used in a retail environment for pricing and item information. There is also wristband media, which is typically used in a healthcare environment, but is also widely used in hospitality and entertainment venues. This section goes into the basics of thermal printing. If you are already familiar with thermal printing, you can skip to the next section where we will demonstrate the supply selector tool. The first set of basic terms to become familiar with is direct thermal versus thermal transfer. Both of these methods use heat from the printer's printhead. The heat from the printhead heats the surface of the media as it passes underneath the printhead. As it passes by, the printhead heat turns on and off depending on the format data sent to the printer. This in turn generates the label. Direct thermal Printing requires the use of special, chemically treated, heat-sensitive media that darkens as it passes under the heat of the printhead. The second method, thermal transfer, requires the use of a ribbon. The ribbon is passed over the media simultaneously and the heat from the printhead adheres the ribbon to the media. Both methods are widely used, however, because direct thermal media has a reaction to heat, sunlight, or abrasion, the thermal transfer method is the more durable of the two types. Not all Zebra printers have a thermal transfer option, so depending on your use case will determine which print method is best for your application. The next set of terms discuss the material that the media is made of. Paper versus synthetic. Synthetic material is the more durable of the two, and depending on your use case will determine which material type. The next set of terms refers to the type of sensor used to detect the media. This is how the printer knows where the label or tags start and stop. Black mark has a black mark or line separating the tags or labels. Gap or WebSense uses the space between the labels or tags. And the third type is receipt media, which has no markings and is used for receipt data. The last set of terms to become familiar with is the media feed type. This refers to how the media is fed into the printer. A roll of media obviously comes in a roll and is fed into the printer from the printer's internal media hanger. The other media feed type is fan fold. Fanfold media typically comes in the box and is fed from outside the printer, either through a slot in the bottom, as you see here, or from behind the printer. Fanfold media can typically hold two to three times the amount of labels or tags than that of a roll, but depending on your use case will determine which type is best for you. Now that we have a better understanding of these key terms, let's take a closer look at the supply selector tool which can be found by entering the URL on the bottom of your screen. Once you've entered the Supply Selector Tool URL into your browser, you will find the home page. The tool will then ask a series of questions to help narrow the search based on the criteria we've just discussed. We will run through one scenario example to provide a general idea of how the utility works. The first question asks for your specific Zebra printer model. As you can see, there are several models in the list. Please scroll through to find your printer model. If you're not sure, please reference the serial number placard on your printer. For this demonstration, we will be looking for a ZT411 industrial printer model. Click and highlight your selection. The next question asks what type of media you require. As we mentioned, labels are basically stickers for applying to assets or boxes. Tags are typically used in a retail environment. 
and wristbands are widely used in healthcare and hospitality. For this example, we will select labels. Click to highlight your selection. The next question asks for the type of printer technology being used. As was discussed previously, this will vary depending on your printer model and potentially your use case. The two options here are direct thermal or thermal transfer. Again, direct thermal does not require a ribbon, but is less durable. And thermal transfer does require a ribbon and is considered the more durable of the two. Click to highlight your selection. The next question asks what material composition is required for the media. The options are paper or synthetic. This will vary depending on your use case as well. However, synthetic is the more durable of the materials. Click to highlight your selection. Lastly, we will select the size of our labels or media. Again, this will vary depending on your printer model and use case. Please select the desired width and length for your media. For our demonstration, we will select a four by six inch label. Click to highlight your selections, then click the Find Supplies button. Now the tool will generate a list of the best media options based on your responses to the questions. Each option listed provides a general rundown on the suggested media. This includes the part number, size, quantities, recommended environments, recommended ribbons, etc. You can also download the spec sheets for the media and ribbons for your reference. Once you've made your selection, you can contact your Zebra representative to place an order. The recommendations provided by the tool are that of regularly stocked supplies. Zebra also offers a vast array of custom media options. For custom media or any additional questions you may have, please reach out to your Zebra representative. Lastly, all the way at the top of the page, you can click on the new search button and the entire tool will reset and take you back to the home page. And that is a quick run through of the Zebra Supply Selector tool. I hope you found this video informative. Please keep an eye out for our next video in our lifecycle series where we will demonstrate the zebra.com support site. Thank you for your attention.